Hey YouTube, how's it going? So today we're doing a Nagoya review. This is the Nagoya 771G, the GMRS version. And uh, it's a little bit different in color. That's because I put uh, some extra heat shrink on it. I put red to go with my B-Tech color. And a little bit extra heat shrink right here uh, where it wiggles. Uh, the reason I did that is because I also have this Nagoya window mount right here. And uh you know, I put this out on the in the window and put my antenna there and added the heat shrink to help with the it actually gives it some more uh rigid ability or extra strength and doesn't wig or flop as much. So uh, when we're going down the highway it's at a bend like this instead of like that. So it helps out a lot and keeps it up there. <laughs> but uh yeah, I'll be doing a uh so I'll be going outside and over the next couple of days I'll be doing a review comparison from the Nagoya compared to the stock rubber duck antenna that comes with every radio that you get and a Bree 33 and a half inch tactical antenna foldable and I might do it against um, one of my roof antennas maybe my Yagi or my Slim Jim that's up about 25 feet and uh, we'll, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, show you what it all looks like. But so far, this antenna has been doing excellent. Um, even compared to this antenna, even when it's fully extended, it works pretty good um, for UHF when it's half bent. So it works better this way. But yeah, this is a 4 dB gain antenna. The Nagoya 771G is a 4.75 dB in gain. So that's really good. And size comparison, this is 15.6 inches long. And let's see. This one is as folded up, 18 and a half inches. So, I mean, yeah, pretty good comparison. Uh, tonight I put this just on uh, the window mount right here, and on a cook or cooking pan, just under the roof outside under the deck and I was talking on that for a while and they're saying I was coming in full quieting better sound than even one of my roof antennas so this works excellent everywhere I go I get excellent reception on it um, yeah these are a must-have so and I'll show you in some of these videos coming up all right so for my first test uh, my B tech here I just got normal rubber duck antenna on here <clears throat> So my first one, I'll be trying rubber duck with rubber duck. So I'll put this one on my radio. And we'll give that a test. Test, one, two, three, four, five. This is the stock rubber duck antenna. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. This is the Bree 33 and a half inch tactical antenna foldable. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. This is the Nagoya. 771G GMRS antenna, 15.6 inches long. So there's just a little uh, a voice test through the antennas and the difference between the antennas, and because uh, each one sounds different, and uh, obviously with the a Bree 33 and a half inch, it kind of sounds like a tin can. I'm not surprised because the elements are just steel, and uh, yeah. But this one, the Nagoya, I noticed sounds really good uh, for the voice. The stock rubber duck sounded pretty good, but uh, I was testing inside, so the range for this antenna is obviously not even going to come close to this one. Um, this, I mean, everywhere I go with this antenna, people are just saying I am in the repeater, full strength, full quieting. And uh, even Simplex, I've done that a couple times, and they're just blown away by this antenna. So that's a really good antenna to buy. They're about 20 bucks. I'll put a link in the description for this antenna right here, affiliate link below, as long as 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 well as uh, affiliate link for the Nagoya um, model RB dash CLP, the window clip. And um, one issue I had with this was I did a couple trips in the car and when I got home I noticed this was very loose so 
Um, I just put a little bit of super glue in there and I just uh, put it, shoved it right back on there and uh, it's now permanently sitting there but I mean you can still plug your antenna into it nice and tight good to go so these are really cool to have these are about 30 bucks um, but yeah like I said I did have that problem and a little bit of super glue just fixed it so that works great now and uh, yeah Nagoya they work really well I mean as they come I did upgrade it a little bit with some heat shrink to make it a little bit more rigid and I mean it's still pretty flexible really flexible antennas really good I love these I uh, always have it on me uh, as, well, as long or excuse me as well as the uh, Abri antenna this thing works phenomenal I mean I have this on my other radio on my back and I, I just pick up everything so I'm going to be getting this is this isn't quite for GMRS I'll be getting the GMRS version of it here shortly and I'll, I might do a review on that so uh, just a quick little review here um, I might do a good distance test later on in the future um, uh, I need more cameras for that so yeah I'll do some more videos and do some real range tests and show you the difference between these and uh, that'll really just blow your way so stay tuned and we'll have another video coming out soon on more of these this it's just like an extension this works great it doesn't drop your signal or nothing like that so it all works excellent so thank you guys please leave a like subscribe share with your friends and more videos coming soon more details thank you.